Hello everyone, myself R.C. Biradar, working as an assistant professor in Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Now in this session, we will discuss about strain energy due to impact load. At the end of this session, students will be able to determine the strain energy stored in an object under impact load. So now we can derive the formula for can derive the formula for stress and uh, the stress so that can be used in a strain energy formula that is already known to us so if you derive the formula for sigma so we can find the energy uh, equation now we can consider let us consider a rod so at the end of the rod a collar is attached If a load P acting in non downward direction, it falls through a distance of H onto a collar. And due to the load impact on a collar, it is assumed that the rod will extend with a deformation called delta L. This is a deformation of a rod under the impact load and this is the length of a rod that we have. So now let us consider so this rod so it is acting at a load P and through height of H. So as already we know that the strain energy U equal to sigma square by 2E into volume and and also we know that the strain energy is uh, equal to the work done on a rod and the work done on a rod can be calculated so if you know the area under the p delta diagram that is if you plot a diagram for load versus deformation so this i can get so delta L on x axis and P on y axis. So this sudden load is applied on a impact uh, rod with a distance H. So it, it, it impacts on a collar. So it increases the strain energy in a rod. So with this, so this area under this is called as a work done on a rod. Okay. So now the I can equate strain energy is nothing but the work done. And work done can be uh, formulated as the area under the P delta diagram. So now I can write that. So this can be equal to work done. And this can be equal to area under the area under P delta diagram. Okay. Now already we know that strain energy sigma square by 2e into volume and this can be equal to area under this one and area and for this is h plus delta l so here if h is 0 the load becomes sudden type if h will be having some value the load becomes impact load now in order to find the sigma value i need to replace this delta l so now it I can uh, write this as P in bracket of H plus sigma L divided by E because E equal to sigma by epsilon and that implies delta L equal to sigma L divided by E. So if I replace this, so this I can write it as sigma square by 2E into area into volume that is area into length. So just rearrange the equation to get p sigma l divided by e equal to sigma square by 2e into al so take this term here i'll bring this L uh, rhs term to L uh, lhs side this becomes al by 2e minus sigma in bracket of pl by e minus pH equal to 0. 
so from this above equation i can say that this is a quadratic equation form so here to make this term a equal to 1 so multiply both side multiply both side by 2e by al times then i get that implies sigma square into 1 minus sigma in bracket of pl by e into 2e by p al minus ph 2e by al equal to 0 so if i simplify this again so i get sigma square minus of so this will get cancelled 2 p by a will be remaining here minus 2 p h e by a l will be remaining this will be equal to 0 okay this i will term it as equation 1 now so if i see here So, uh, solving the above equation, solving the above quadratic equation, quadratic equation to get the roots. So now roots, so that is in the form of, uh, so in that above equation one, so a equal to one, b equal to minus two p by a, and c equal to what? minus 2 p h e by a l these are the terms now if i have so if i uh, to get the roots roots that is sigma equal to uh, minus b so as if i have 2 p by a plus or minus square root of 2 p by a bracket square minus 4 into a into c that is minus 2 p h e by a l because roots equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a so on simplification 2 p by a will be remaining here plus so I can take 4 outside so the 4 root is nothing but 2 I can take outside so the remaining is p by a bracket square so minus minus becomes plus 2 p h e divided by a l will be remaining here inside that and here divided by here I need to have 2 into a that is 2 will be remaining so I can cancel 2 2 so the remaining term is p by a plus or minus so p by a bracket square plus 2 p h e by a l will be remaining so again i can bring p by a term outside the square root so if i multiply by p by a and a by p so this becomes p by a bracket square then i can take p by a outside the bracket and it becomes 1 plus under square root 1 plus 2 into uh, h a e divided by p into l will be remaining inside the bracket and now this is nothing but a sigma <coughs> so now this is a value uh, we should use for uh, to find the value of sigma in order to uh, find the strain energy value. and already we know that strain energy is strain energy is sigma square by 2e into area into length so this term sigma so we should use from this formula so when h is 0 so sigma is p by a 1 plus square root of 1 it becomes 2 times p by a and this is clearly the uh, case of sudden type of load 
and when delta l is very small is very small in comparison with in comparison with uh, h so i can put that that uh, so i can use sigma square by 2e into area into length equal to p into h plus 0 so it is equal to ph so i can get sigma equal to 2 ph e divided by a into l under square root so this is a value of sigma so when delta l is small this is a value of sigma when h is 0 and if we use this value of sigma in this equation too we can get the strain energy for impact load so now you can think that so what is the uh, strain energy equation for uh, sudden and gradual load case thank you Thank you.